Fairgrounds getting an early return on investment with their new security equipment. Two days after installing new cameras, police used the footage to nab three suspects. Before we went to cover that breaking news, two news reporter Will Dupree looked into the security upgrades. At the River Spirit Expo, set up for the annual Tulsa Auto Show is coming together. Major automakers will put some of their newest makes and models on display while collectors plan to show off the classics. Can I get you on the back of this one? For nearly a decade, members of the Tulsa Chevy Classics Club bring out their prized possessions here. It's like having a new baby. You want to show them off, and that's what the auto show gives us an opportunity to do. The owners put in a lot of money and time to preserve these cars, so keeping them protected is key. This show puts a chain up between the cars and the spectators to keep people away. Uh, but we also have club members that stay out here during the open hours so that they kind of keep an eye on them. Now there's a few more eyes keeping watch. New security cameras went online last week, and during a weekend event, they helped lead to some arrest. Police say on Friday, witnesses saw Richard Futch and George Adams swipe guns from a booth. Officers used surveillance footage to confirm what happened and book the two for theft. We're always looking for ways to provide a better event environment, not only for our promoters, but our guests and exhibitors as well. These security cameras will allow us to do that. With even more valuables on display this weekend, organizers hope that cameras will help keep everything safe. Will Dupree, 2 News works for you.